Hello everyone, shall we do an affordable Christmas look? I keep seeing all these beautiful, expensive makeup Christmas looks. Let's try and do one that's a little bit more affordable. Um, obviously, if you have products, use the ones you've already got, but I'm gonna show you some new ones just in case you're in desperate need. I um, got this palette yesterday. It's called Royal Flush and it's a sleek palette and I absolutely love it, but I'm not gonna use it today because I'm conscious I've done a few looks with these kind of ready tones but it's lush and um, I did a look a couple of days ago or a couple of videos ago, not days ago, a couple of videos ago and I used some red tones. So this is a great palette if you couldn't afford what I used, which I can't even remember what I used, but this is a great palette. Instead, I think I'll use this grounded palette. I don't know where I'm gonna go with it or how I'm gonna use it because it's quite good because it's got so many options in there, but I think that's the one I'm gonna use. But should we do eyes first? Should we get some base on? Let's do eyes first, because if there's any fall down, although these are pretty good and don't get too much fall down, let's do eyes first and then we can always do the base afterwards. Now I've already moisturized my skin, but I want to wake it up. And I was given this as a free set. When you spend over 25 pounds in boots yesterday, she said, oh, you haven't got your free set. And actually I really like the mascara, the Rimmel, Rimmel mascara that came in it. And I like the lip, so I don't know how long that's on for, but um, I'm going to use them. So I'm going to use this fixing spray, just, it's a matte fixing spray, just to wake up my moisturiser that I've already put on, and almost as a primer, but I'm using it first. Mm. So just allow that to work into the skin. I'm going to start with a little bit of concealer. This is the Maybelline um, Instant Erase Concealer in 121. Help my under eyes. And I'm not gonna to rush to blend that in. I'll blend in the top, but I'm gonna leave the underneath just to kind of bake to my skin a little bit. Because that's where I want a tiny bit more coverage. So I'm just gonna allow it. As I haven't gone here, it won't sit in my lines. It's right in my very dark area. I don't actually need it there. So just buff that one in. You can probably see my bruise on my chin. I was opening my cupboard. I've got a cupboard that's really low down. I was opening it and it's really stiff to open. And I was like that and I wasn't looking and it whacked the corner of it, whacked me in the cheek. So now I've got a lovely bruise there, which is great. But um, it's been every color under the sun and it's now gone. I thought it would have been gone by now because it's been like a week or so. What should we start with? We'll try to use as many of these as we can. I'm trying to veer away from these kind of ready coppery tones because they're the ones that I reach for when it's autumn, winter, because they're quite autumnal. I'm going to try and start with a couple of the greens and see how we go. So let's go in with the matte green first. I'm going to take that over my socket. going to blend that in now as well because I don't want the green to stick to it because then it will make my eyes look like they're bruised underneath as well and I'll look like I'm really in the wars. I don't know how I feel about that colour but we'll work with it. Right let's take the other green and try and put that over the top and hopefully it will make it greener because I've got the other green underneath if you know what I mean hopefully they'll work with each other. At the moment, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but that's the joys of makeup, isn't it? We can play with it. I mean, not sure how I feel about what I've done, not about the products. I actually think the product's great. I'm just not sure about my work. Oh, look, there's a khaki, a green. Should we try that as well? We'll get there. Take that through the socket a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know how Christmassy this look is going to be. <laughs> I'm going to take a different brush and try and work this slightly more like plumagey colour. But it might be too blue. I do love a bit of makeup when you don't know what you're doing. 
which is fun. Let's try the really coppery goldy tone in the middle and see what that's like. Oh, it looks quite pretty in the middle there, doesn't it? Because it's a little bit yellowy, it allows the yellow in the green, the lighter green, just to pop through a little bit. Let's get an eyeliner in the waterline. This is a Rimmel Scan eyeliner. I want to put that both top and bottom in the waterline. Oh, it's very lovely and soft. Let's try some of the other colours underneath the eye, purely because it's a bit boring if we just keep it all green, isn't it? So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this brown first. Looks like it's quite dense and just run that under the eye. Quite thick, I want that. Just drag that out a little bit, just so it blends in with there. Below there. And then let's go over the top of it with, what should we do, the purple or the red? Uh, purple, purely because, like I said, I used red quite a lot. Let's go for this slightly more purpley tone here. Whoever uses all the colours in the palette, let's see if we can. Don't think we'll use them all, but we'll try and use a few. Right, let's go for this one now. Let's try and pop that through here. Just to add a little bit of warmth in here. That will look quite nice in there. I'm going to go back in with that. Right here. I'm actually quite impressed, there's only a couple I didn't use in that palette. I'm going to take this Rimmel, what is it, Extra Super Lash Mascara, which I got as part of a free gift, and pop that on. Come on, get loads on there. I was just trying to use the end to really put loads of it on. I poke myself in the eye. Once I've cleaned up the skin and stuff, this will look nice, I promise. Well, I don't promise, you might not like it. Next up, I'm going to spritz my skin again. Oh, that comes out quite too strong. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of number seven, Restore and Renew Foundation with an SPF of 30, and this one is in the colour Warm Beige for me. How are you going to work? It looks a little bit grey as I'm first putting it on, but I'm pretty sure it will be fine. No, I think it was grey because I was putting it over my bruise. Actually looks fine. I like my foundation to match my forehead if possible because I don't actually put any makeup up here. I um, keep that as clear as possible. I don't know why, I just don't like it up there. Sits in all my lines. Back in with a bit more concealer. Let's pop some over there and see if we can conceal that bruise. I want to take it under my eyes again now because the other concealer is kind of, I've seen what it, if it could do enough and it couldn't quite. Around my nose. Here, here, can't resist. Same brush as I used for foundation, just a lift under here. And under here, just highlighting that area to make my jaw look a little bit stronger. Push over this area where my bruise is, so it will conceal it and swap brush just to conceal under the eye because I want a slightly smaller one. Again, I'm just keeping this area clear. The only time I really put the concealer in that area is if I just want to tidy up here and I almost use it as an eraser or a rubber, as we call it in the UK, but in America they call it a razor. They call ru a rubber something very different. Bronzer, I've got this beautiful Be Perfect Cream Bronzer in the colour Tan. I'm going to take that on, Real Techniques. Multitask brush, 
and pop that over my cheeks. Put some colour back in. I don't want to put too much colour through my brows. I'm going to use product, but I don't want to enhance the colour because then I will look too dark in the eye area. So I've already got a strong eye on. I don't want the brows to look dark again. So I've got this, is this Be Perfect as well? Be Perfect um, Industry Brow. And this is a um, gel brow. I'm going to take that over my brows just so that I can structure the shape of the brows a little bit. You can use an orange stick or something like that to do this, or the end of a brush. This is actually a slightly more expensive Anastasia spoolie, which has a flat panelled end, um, which is especially for these kind of brow freezes. So I'm just going to work that on my brow and then brush my brow up. Now my brows have been microbladed so you they still look quite solid but if your brows were not they wouldn't look as dark which I think would be better. I like having my brows microbladed just because it makes general day-to-day -day makeup much quicker but when you want to do a look like this it does limit you a bit more. I don't want them to be too stark and upright because I don't want to look like an alien. So I'm just going to take my brush and just scoop around the edges there. Just to tuck the little edges in a little bit. And then I've got this Soap and Glory Brow Archery. On one end it's got a um, pencil. I'm not actually going to use that. On the other end, it has got like a little liner brush, which I want to use just where I'm quite gappy. Just to define where those gaps are. Especially at the front of my brow, because my brows have never grown at the front very much. So it, the um, microblading is just bald. So I need to make sure... I put some strokes just at the front of my brow. I'm not sure if those brows might look a little bit too done, but that's for you to decide if you decide to recreate the makeup, you can leave that bit out. Now I couldn't find a lip liner that I wanted in um, boots that I went to. Couldn't find one anywhere. So I'm gonna use the other end of this um, archery soap and glory pencil just because I want to shade my lips a little bit. So I'm going to use it, but then almost buff it away just to create a bit of shadow. And I'm using it on my outer lip line. So you can see I have a lip line which is quite pale. And I always say this, we all have more lip line than we realize. So I'm gonna use my outer lip line and my brow pencil it's already so Pammy's 90 you can use your finger or you can use a q-tip whatever you prefer q-tip just because I can be a bit more accurate with it and just softly buff it away this isn't a new trick guys I've been doing this since I started these YouTube videos 12 or 13 years ago. I normally use a different product but they're all the same. It's just creating a little bit of shadow. You don't need to blend it away completely if you don't want to. I quite liked it there. I am going to buff it in again but I'm applying it, buffing it, and where I want a bit more going back in again. You can see that it's just shaped my lips quite nicely. Now I bought this Revolution um, Soft Focus, and I think this is lip and cheek, but I also bought this Sleek palette. But I think I'm gonna use the Revolution one because it's, it's dual purpose, so I'm gonna take, oh, and this lipstick came in the free gift, which I quite like. I haven't got much colour, which is what I really like about it. That's such a nice colour. That is um, Colour Rishi 
Colour Riche. Um, two, and it is, who's it by? I do not know. Oh, L'Oreal. Smells like a really old lipstick. I kind of love it. Um, and it is 235 Nude. I like that. Not nude for everyone. Uh, let's try this. And let's pop it on the cheeks. Oh, that is really... A lot more came out than I expected. I just stuck my finger right in it. I'm not actually going to put a highlighter on with this because it's going to be too busy. That's so nice. Really soft. And I'm going to put it on the lip so you can see it. That's a really lovely product. Take it right up to that lip line. Lipstick might be a bit wash out, but I'm just going to use my Soap and Glory Archery just to enhance my mole. Otherwise, it just looks like I've got a bit of a dirty mark there, whereas actually it's a mole. I'm just going to take a little bit of Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to powder my chin and around my nose. So there you have an affordable going out. Christmas, can I clutch to Christmas, New Year? Look for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next and I will do it. And um, nice to see you all. Take care. Bye.